Hey there guys, welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and check out this 1939 Chevy Coupe. This one's got the 350 under the hood, power steering. Looks like power brakes. I think it was like an early 80s 350. Two electric fans, one on the inside and outside, so we shouldn't have any kind of heating or cooling problems with this car here. The paint job does have a lot of extra wax and stuff left over, but it's got a flat paint job as well. So this one's got a lot of flaws, a lot of chips, a lot of little scratches and stuff. Go to maplemotors.com. You can check out the detailed pictures, the financing and the shipping that we offer on all of our rides. And guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe because I'm putting out videos every day. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And of course, before we take off, you look around the interior, you can see it's missing some handles there. So I can't really roll down the window right now. Good thing it feels awesome today. It's got the old tape player, CB, aftermarket gauges. Looks like they tinted the front windshield. The interior is nice and comfortable. Looking around in the back here, it's not too bad. Headliner's a little stretched there. You're missing some trim around that back window. Let's go ahead and start her up. I'm gonna give her some gas. A little bit more gas. Pump, pump, pump. There we go. I like the wood all the way across there. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? Turn signals do not have an indicator on the inside. Don't call them though. Uh, let's see. I believe that's already on there, but it's not doing anything. You've got, these are lights on the front of the car. That's how you turn them on. That is the electric fan. It's kind of got a crazy sound to it on the inside there. But we definitely want to keep it on. Horn, you place your bets on it. There's a button under here, let's try it. Nothing, I don't think. No, not doing anything. Oil pressure's up on the dash. Uh, gas gauge is on E, so we're stopping and getting some fuel. Engine temperature is coming up on this one, and that's what the miles say, but that's not the original gauge either. Radio? It's not doing anything. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get the hood down, and we'll hit the road see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off, and it looks like... They've been using vice grips for a little while on this, rolling this window down. It's probably the same pair of vice grips. The little teeth are gone on this. And since they're already gone, I'm gonna try to roll it down just so I can get a little bit of air in here. It does work. It's actually going down pretty smooth. It's all replaceable too. So I can get out. Let's put it back on there tight. Yeah. All right. Idle seems a bit high on this one. I may end up turning that down throughout the video if nothing changes. Let's go ahead and run up to the gas station. We'll get some fuel. Anything I see, of course, I go over in the videos. That's why I'm making them for you. Here's our reverse. Sounds pretty good in gear. Get into those brakes. They're smooth. 
moving. We'll stop it fast, too. That being said, the kick down passing gear is not engaging. Still got plenty of power. Technically, don't need it on this one. We'll see if the gas gauge works. Right now it's dead on E. I kind of feel like it's disconnected. Um, but we'll find out here in just a second. All right, guys. Man. I forgot which side the gas cap was on. <laughs> well, let's open the door. It is on my side. We got ourselves turned around here, pointed in the other direction. I hear a bit of a tire rub coming from the from the rear here on the driver's side. Yeah, definitely what that was. All right, idle just sounds a bit high when you put it into park. Engine temperature is sitting at 160. Those electric fans are doing a great job of keeping it cool. And of course, we got 55 pounds of oil pressure. Um, again, let's see about that gas gauge. I'll be right back. Okay, $20 worth of premium gas. And I was like, oh yeah, it's got a, a locking cap here. Of course, I'll learn these cars with you guys. So whenever I get in here to do a test drive, I'm going over it as my first overview. Look what I found. It's in here. That's a pretty nice gas tank. It looks like they got it strapped up. I mean, it's not moving. It is tight in there, but I assume that's how they got it held um, in a very solid cap. Which $20? Probably about half a tank on that one. So I'm going to say the gauge is not working. As you see, there's nothing hooked up on top. So let's just go ahead and get her started back up and head on out of here. I got to let the trunk down. Is that locked? Nope, that's locked. Good deal. Okay, friends, let's roll. Let's try to start her up. Electric fans? Yeah, gas gauge is not moving. I knew it wouldn't.
getting ready to roll out here. I had my screwdriver out because I just did the walk around video, which I'm walking around picking out the flaws. I put that at the end of these videos uh, just to make it easier. But you'll also see me working on the uh, carburetor, not really working on it. I did like two turns and turned down the idle. And we're in gear. And it actually sounds a lot better. I mean, much better. We got a pretty good cooling fans up there and it's keeping it at 160 that's pretty low oil pressure's at 45 you give it a gas it jumps up to 60 so let's head on back to the lot now and of course at the end of the video picking out the flaws that's where you're gonna see a lot of wax on this car because i guess the last guy that owned it left a bunch of it on there a lot of chips uh scratches the paint job's a bit faded that's why he was waxing it i assume but we're not here to hide anything we tell you how it is that way you know what you're getting and you're happy with your purchase. Okay. Suspension on this one's a little bit bumpy. Um, I noticed the tire rubbing in the back, driver's side. Got plenty of pep, you get into the brakes, stops fast, you can hit them real hard and make them lock up too. <laughs> they work good. <laughs> There's a nice bump in the middle of the road here. You'll probably be able to hear it. Um, it gives you a good idea. Hear that tire rubbing when I turn to the right. It's that back driver's side. I'll point out the bump. All you gotta do is listen. Here. Suspension's a bit bumpy when you hit that. tire back here guys i do appreciate you watching again if you haven't already hit subscribe share this video that helps me out 100 detailed pictures picking out the flaws coming up next thank you All right, guys, we're picking out the flaws now. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. Coming up around the front end. This one's got tons of scratches and lots of wax left on it. You can see around the front end. I'm just gonna zoom in on all this. I'm not gonna zoom in on every single scratch because they're all over the car. This right here is a lot of wax. You can see it's kind of coming off on my hand. A lot of chips, paint runs. Chips up there. Up and over the fender here, you can see how oxidized the paint is. Crack right here. Bottom of the door there is a little crack. Like I said, there's a lot of chips on here, so I'm not gonna go over every single one. I'm just gonna zoom in where you can see them. 
it's kind of hard to uh, tell which one's a wax and which one's a chip. <laughs> Thick paint there runs. Scratches in the middle of the door. Paint runs. Little bubbles here. Paint missing there. Chips right up here on the hood. Of course, we'll be going over that when I lay the hood down. Coming up on the back, dual exhaust. Needs a seal for the trunk. little moisture got in here because there's no seal. There's a piece of metal they tacked up in there. Take a light scratch here. Come down this side. Little chips there. Down the lower portion, you got scratches on the running board. Thick paint here. Paint runs. Couple scuffs. Back up over the rear here. Little chip there. Little paint run. Crack in the window in the corner there.
Okay, so we've made it around this ride. We're gonna check out the inside. We'll get her started, lay the hood down, and also check that out. And then we'll get heading back to the lot. I got about two more rides to do today and I'll have everything completed for Monday's update, which this is when this video will be out. So I always do these about a week ahead of time trying to get everything done for y'all in time. I think it said it needs the handles and as you can see it's stripped out there it was already stripped out prior this one doesn't have any grooves it's because somebody started using vice grips if you want to strip something out use vice grips <laughs> far fit in this one it's older the seats are very comfortable got some rips in the sides i wonder if they're like no they're not working they're just kind of stationary here but if I can lift it up, I can. Got a few speakers. Big old hole in your headliner here. A couple speakers in the front kick panels too. Turn your fans on. turn it down with my fingers but i can barely get it to move idle's just a bit high let's see if we can work on it in my luck i'll turn the idle down and then it may not stay running when i put it in gear but let's find out so i bring a bag full of goodies and you can see everything that i use in my bag here to make the videos most importantly carry some tools because you never know what you're going to be working on as you're doing a video here. I might be able to get it in there without taking the air cleaner off. I'm probably gonna have to. Take her down just a hair. One more turn here. Let's see, there we go. That already sounds a heck of a lot better. One hand bandit. The motor's actually pretty sound. Uh, I can hear that electric fan there making some noise. This looks like a mount may be bad. The way the motor's jumping up here. Definitely sounds good though. But you can hear them fans if I cut it off. All that noise goes away. Just 
pretty sound there, but I'm gonna cut them back on because I don't want any kind of overheat. It actually sounds better this time around. Let's shut the hood. So here's this side. I catch there it did a lot of wax left on this all right guys i appreciate you watching again if you're new to the channel hit subscribe and share this video that helps me out quite a bit i'll keep going over the cars telling you what's wrong with them anything that i find just as if i was going to buy it myself we do this so you're happy with the purchase we have 100 detailed pictures financing shipping and of course, I'm doing this every day. Go to maplemotors.com if you want to see our new inventory. Every Monday, we update with about 10 cars. Thanks, guys. I'm heading back to the lot. I'm curious. Is it going to stay running when I put it in gear now that I've lowered the idle? Yeah, let's roll. Good deal.